Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to go and show you how to remotely disable console sharing and offline play on your PlayStation 5. So let's go ahead and jump in the video right now. So you want to go ahead and remotely disable PlayStation 5's console sharing and offline play for your account. How would you go ahead and do that? Let's say your PlayStation got stolen or maybe it's at a friend's house and you want to go ahead and disable this option remotely. Now, there's one way that I came up that you can do this, and this involves remote play. So on my PC, if we go to a web browser right now, we can go to PlayStation Remote Play in Google and just type this in and then go to PlayStation.com, the first link, and then we can download Remote Play. So you can also get this on your phone or your iPhone. You can just go to the Google Play Store or the Apple Store and download this application. Now, to download this application on the PlayStation website, this is the direct URL right here, PlayStation.com, pretty much remote play. So if we scroll on down under this page, we can download it right here, Windows PC and Mac download. So go ahead and get this application. Now I'm going to go ahead and start this up and pop it open on my PC. Then once we sign in with our email address and password for our PlayStation account, this is what it will show. It will show our PlayStation 5. If we go to other connections, we can connect to our PlayStation 4. So if I go ahead and select PlayStation 5, it says to use PlayStation Remote Play, enable it on your PS5. Connecting to, okay. Then on the PS5, go to Settings, System, Remote Play, and turn on Enable Remote Play. Now you may already have this on by default on your PlayStation, so you may still be able to connect to it. So let's go to OK, and you'll want to go ahead and connect your controller to your PC or your phone. Well, if you're on your phone, you can actually use the on-screen keypad, so you won't need a controller. So let's go ahead and maximize this. And now I'm connected to my PlayStation 5 via the internet. So I'm at my house right now and I'm connected over Wi-Fi to my PlayStation from my PC. And this is very easy from your phone and it works great. I've been at my parents' house like 30 miles away from my home and I've been able to connect via the internet to my PlayStation at home and play my games. So this works pretty well. Now what we can do is pretty much just go up to our account right here and go to settings and scroll on down under this and go to users and accounts. Then under accounts, let's go on down to other. And then go to console sharing and offline play. Allow anyone who uses this PlayStation 5 to play your games and media, even when the console is offline. So if we select this, we can go to disable now. Now, as soon as we go to disable, you're going to be disconnected from remote play. But that person will no longer have access to your game library, PlayStation Plus, on their PlayStation anymore. So then you would be able to enable console sharing in offline play on your new PlayStation. So this is just one way to get around this. Now, if this doesn't work, you can always go to the PlayStation website, sign in, and there is a way to deactivate all your PlayStation accounts at once. So if this doesn't work, there still is another method if you sign into PlayStation.com. So hopefully this video did indeed help you out. If it did, leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech out videos coming up next on Your Six Studios.